Oh, yeah. Hey, good morning. Here we go. It is time for After 9. Mike and Lisa from AM 800. Thanks for joining us uh, for a few minutes. Oh, I forgot to put our little uh, banner uh, up. There we go. Now we're Got official. A banner. Now we are official. Here now we go. Now people know who we are. That's right. That's right. We know who we are, too. And hopefully you know who you are. And hopefully we uh, get some comments here on the After 9 topics for the day. Uh, any uh, last thoughts? Because uh, I don't want to talk about it anymore on the election. Uh, not really. It's kind of a yawn, you know. Yeah. A um, few close races. But uh, I think if there had been some upsets locally... Um, there would have been more to talk about today, but, uh, no surprises. I don't think. Um, and yeah, here we go. Yeah. I'm done talking about it too. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. That's enough of the election. If you want election talk, uh, tune into Dan McDonald coming up, uh, now until noon and, uh, he will be talking about the election. Okay. My hand yesterday, I showed you my hand and, uh, it was, uh, I was stung by a wasp on Saturday afternoon. I think it looks better today. What do you think? No, it's still swollen. It's still swollen, but it's better. Like it's getting start, better. You can see my knuckles. Now. Uh, do you know where the sting was exactly? Like yeah, where... right here. Okay. Right, right, right there. Mm. Right there. So I'm getting there. How are your nails? Dirty. Worked, yeah. Uh, spreading compost yesterday. Wow. Very, very nice, eh? Have so you found? Have you found what? This is the bad one. Oh, I got. I've got new headsets, and I can't hear very well out of them, unfortunately. Should I talk louder? Is that better? Sorry, no. Lulu. No. Yeah, poor Lulu. Lulu's asleep right behind me. She's not on her bed where she usually is. Oh. Oh, Karen, I'm allergic to wasps. Oh, that's scary. Yep. Wouldn't it be? Yeah. Yeah, big time. You'd be freaking out, especially this time of year. Now, I just put one of those. I put it uh, under our gazebo yesterday, uh, the fake wasp net. Oh, like do those work? Hive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll report back. Yesterday it seemed to work, but I don't know. It was kind of a cloudy day. I don't know if that affects wasp populations or flying or whatever, but uh, I guess we'll find out. I guess we will. I don't know. They seem to be not as um, uh, not as evident lately. Not as many, perhaps. Do the old food test every now and then outside. Mm. You guys want to eat dinner outside? No, no. Well, let's just try it. Yeah. And then we go out, and then it's like, ah, forget it. <laughs> Two seconds, we're back in again. But, uh, yeah, and every once in a while we'll do that. So that that's the way we know whether or not the bee season is over and done. Yes, they are bad right now in some areas for They're sure. awful, yeah. It's been the last, uh, I don't know, what, three weeks or so. So maybe I'll put out something sweet. Uh, out underneath this uh, fake hive that I have and see, I don't know. Or is that like, well, you can't do that and expect the hive, the fake hive to work. Just well, leave the hive out there. Y yeah, yeah, I suppose. I suppose that's right, too. I don't know. I mean, maybe just you'll notice in the next few days if it works or not. Definitely by the weekend if you're working outside. Yeah. But, you know, it's going to be windy and rainy for the next yeah. little while. So they're going to be asleep. Because it seems like when it's cloudy even, I don't know. I don't know if it's just in my mind or what, but it, it seems like wasps, bees, whatever you want to call it, are not that bad is when it's sunny and warmer. I don't know. Yeah, you're probably right. All right. Very nice. Anything else on your mind this morning? Post-election oh, was... Tuesday, first day of fall tomorrow at 3.21 p.m. Speaking of uh, bugs, I was um, almost asleep last night, and my daughter, I still have the TV on, but you know, you just kind of, you get like, oh, sleep is coming, sleep is oh, coming, I can feel yeah. it, and you kind of get into that next stage where your body's like ready to kind of fall asleep. Well, then I get the, I hear this bang, 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 and then Sarah comes running in my room, mom, there's something in my room and it's freaking me out. Oh, I'm my like, God. What, what, what is it? it? And she said, it's a bug. I'm like, oh, my God. Is it a centipede? 
Mm. And she's like, no, it has wings. I'm like, oh, it has wings. It's fine. She's like, no, it's flying around. And she's like, I've never seen it before. I don't want it to sting me. I said, well, is it a bee? No, I don't think so. I'm like, fine. So I go to the covers and stomp down the hallway. What time was this at? 10. Oh, late. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I walk in her room and she's like, there it is. And they're just flying around and she dives out of the room. And I'm like, oh, what is that? That's very bizarre looking. Like it was almost like very long and thin. Hmm. With, it's almost like a teeny tiny baby dragonfly is kind of what it looked like. Hmm. But she's like, mom, it's got a stinger. I'm like, I don't think so, Sarah. Like if these things stung us, don't you think we'd know more about them? And this would be something we would, you know, be talking about more often. I think it's fine. It's harmless. Oh, I can't sleep. All right. So then we had to find something to kill it with. Like, uh, give me a mega. I'm like, well, how about one of these books? No, I'm reading that. Oh, fine. Okay. Well, so then it got perched up on the light and it wouldn't move. And I was trying to like get it out of the way. It went, okay, fine. And then we you know, get, plugged our blow dryer. And so we blew it off the light. Oh so then God. it come down. <laughs> Hilarious. So I'm like, I have to go to bed. And then we couldn't find it for a bit. And she's like, well, I won't be able to sleep. So uh eventually i smushed it uh and flushed it down the toilet i still don't know what it was but hmm. i don't think it had a stinger but it was certainly really like interesting looking okay um karen says it was it a stink bug a stink bug is that the official name i don't know but this is I, what it looks like i'm googling it, like it. that Mm, no, like li little tiny dragonfly, like really, really thin body, like the size of a toothpick. Hmm. I don't know. There's got to be some bug expert watching this. this I morning. think it was red. Like, I think the body was long and red, tiny, and then little hmm. wings. I don't wow. know. It's quite the description. I, I can't, uh, I can't picture this either. She's long, like, what is it? Wings, skinny. Let me put that in Google. Long, skinny, red, red, bug wings, with wings. Yeah, bug. Let's see what we got. We got. Uh, we got this. Maybe. Uh, maybe this is it. I. I. I don't know what this is, but it looks kind of interesting and maybe fits the description of what you're looking for. Long, skinny thing with wings. That's red. Yes. That it. Yes. All right, let's find out about this uh, this thing. What is it? Um, watch it be. Watch it. Watch it sting. Yes, that's it. Skinny red flying insect, long legs and feelers. What is that? This says nothing. Come on. On it. Anybody know what that is? What is it? Ground wasps. No, it's not a, a firefly. No. Oh, people guessing before I even uh, went to this. Oh, Bridget, that sounds like a horrible experience you had. <laughs> Hor <laughs> Just horrible. Just horrible. They are harmless. Uh, okay, but what are they? I don't know. I'm trying to find out. I don't know where my little Google page went. Uh, let's see. They can't. Uh, they. Uh, that's what I said. This this Lewis. website sucks. They've got to be harmless. Otherwise, we would know more about them, and we would be freaking out about them. Yeah, but I got to say, I've never seen one of these either. Hmm. She was so freaked out. What is it? Hmm. Mosquito, Mosquito hawks. Mosquito hawks. What? Hmm? No, that's not a thing. No, it. It wasn't a mosquito. It's it was about the size, uh, like probably an inch and a half long. Hmm. Inch and a half. Flying around. Weird. Uh, Very bizarre. Glad you found that. Now we just have to figure out what they're called. Yeah, I think I got it here. I've seen this a couple times now. Um. Here you go. Does that look uh? Look like it. No, I can't. No, that's not no. it. Okay. I don't think so. No. <sighs> the other, the other picture was it. I don't. Anyway, doesn't matter. It doesn't it's gone. matter who it, it is. It died. It was flushed down the toilet, <laughs> and uh, everybody Burial got Burial at sea. Burial at sea. 
Um, yes, I do, Carol. Had the most interesting visit from animals. Yes. Yeah, nobody has very, this in their homes. Very odd. <laughs> odd. <laughs> okay, one more thing I want to get to uh, this morning is a letter we got from uh, one of our listeners. And this is a dilemma or advice needed for this mom who says, Dear Mike and Lisa, my son is about to turn 15 years old. He recently got his first girlfriend, wants to have her over. I said, yes, I'm looking forward to meeting her. He then asked if he could spend time with her in his bedroom door closed. I told him I would have to think about it because I know what I did as a teenager with the door closed. Should I trust him until he breaks my trust, makes a mistake, or should I tell him no, not allow him to make a mistake? What would you guys do? Thank you. Door open. Door open. Door open. Sure. 15, girl over, door open. Yes. Does that door... send the message, I don't trust you? Door open for... Uh, yeah. <laughs> but that's but... okay because you're the mom or dad or whatever. Yeah. You know what? I always said when you get your own home, yeah, you can make decisions about what's going on. Um, yeah, and I get the whole being in the bedroom like because sometimes in a house, depending on how small the house is, and how many people, there's no maybe there's no area to kind of, you know, be alone. But yeah. yes, door definitely open and suddenly there will be a lot of cleaning going on in the house where you'd have to walk by very often doing the laundry, oh. picking up things, coming into the room, making sure like, did I leave my glasses in here? Mm. Um, yeah. Door definitely open uh, and not negotiable at that age. And, you know, I'm sure that the girl's parents would expect if there are going to be parents home at the boy's house that, you know, they do what's right. Wow. wonder if it's an older woman. Maybe she's 15 and a half. You know. <laughs> you know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. I I can't comment. I'm not a parent, so I, I don't know. But I think door open sounds like a pretty good policy to me. For sure. Why do you need your door closed, right? I, I agree with that. Why do you need your door closed if you're not doing anything wrong in there, so leave it open. And I think yeah, that, that's been on Modern Family before when uh, Mom, the, the Claire, would go up oh, yeah. in the laundry basket and walk in and <laughs> stuff like that. So there you go. I don't know, but then are they just not going to be there? They're oh door open. Uh, okay, no, no, no problem. No, she's not coming over. Then we're we're going to go hang out and make out of the park. Then okay. <laughs> Lisa's least it's not in my house. <laughs> Just synthesis door open above the blankets. Above the blankets above is hilarious. Above the blankets. I want to see your groinal areas. <laughs> and your hands. Hands and groinal areas above blankets. They <laughs> must be seen at all times. Um, that's so funny. Yeah. Or door, or door closed, knock even every 10 minutes, ask questions. Hang on, hang on, hang on. And then you hear a lot of noise in there. No, door open. Like, okay. It's just silly. When you have kids, you can let them have their door closed and do whatever you want. But yeah. in my house, door open. I love that. I love that going to that. When you are an adult, when you have your own house, when you pay the bills, you can I've even said to Craig in many arguments, well, when you become a woman, then you can decide. <laughs> you can decide this or that. <sighs> is that how it is in most homes when we talk about, you know, the the, uh, the relationships is that the woman has the say. I mean, that's just kind of the way it is, right? The, the woman, I don't know, that's how it, that would, that's how it is around here. The woman's the boss when it comes to decisions around the house. Um, like my neighbor asked me last week, he said, uh, why don't we cut down that tree? It's right on the property line. The tree's dying. It doesn't look good. It's causing problems and all this stuff. You want to cut it down? I'm like, yeah, but I got to ask the boss. I got to see because she says when a tree gets cut down, she can smell death. 
Ooh, what? Yeah, it's okay because she's Kelly's so into the environment and going. But on But if it's if it's a dying like tree, there's no point in keeping it, right? Well, it's not dead, dead. There's just a couple branches that could come down. It's in a bad spot, though. The rest of it's you know okay. I don't know, but I want to take down a couple trees, and I don't know. Doctor uh, Doctor Green, uh, we'll have to ask Kelly to see if uh, you know that's acceptable. And, and like, so that's my example. Like, I could not do that on my own. Like, I cannot decide I'm going to cut down this tree. I'm getting a chainsaw and cutting down this tree without checking with Kelly first, or I'd be in big trouble. If I brought down a tree, there's no putting it back. It's not going to be the same. Check before you cut. Call Miss Dig, you know, call Miss well, Kelly. But I, I think if it had been Kelly talking to the neighbor, she would probably say, well, oh, yeah, let me check with Mike first, and we'll, we'll let you know. Like, I, I think... That's a like a joint. That's a good example of a joint decision. Okay, but the you know? joint decision truly isn't a joint decision. A lot of the times, usually is. John say Kelly came to me. John uh, was wondering if we should cut down that tree. And I'd be like, Yeah, let's cut it down. Let's get rid of it. Trees are messy. I'm sick of cleaning up all the crap and all that stuff. And uh, then it might be wrong answer. Mm. that that's that's not the correct that's not the correct answer mm. oh okay well, well all right i guess we're keeping it then <laughs> there's no say there's no say for the guy that's, it's that's like, good negotiating right there we get that's asked a lot on our opinions on things about what to do or whatever but if it's not the acceptable answer to the boss the female of the house then it doesn't matter well, I just yeah. wanted. Well, why'd you ask then? Yeah, I think it depends on. I, I think it depends on the situation. Like, there's a lot of like categories where I will make decisions, and I'll ask Craig. You know, what do you think? And he's like, "Why am I even going to answer? Because you right. already know what you want." So when he close, yeah. Then he closes his eyes and pretends I'm not there. I'm like, still here. <laughs> um, <laughs> But there are other situations like, okay, so let me give you a, a, a question on this. So if you said to Kelly, I'm going to dig up the back lawn mm -hmm. and I want to put in my I own have. French grain, drain and it's going to take probably most of the summer. And Kelly would say, I don't think it's a good idea. But you did it anyway. Yeah. So there is an example of the decision that you made. I guess I would say it has to be done. This has to be done. We got broken pipes. We got filled pipes with roots. Mm -hmm. It has. I suppose. There is no choice. Yeah, you're right. It yep. has to be done. Oh, okay. hang on a second. All right. Lisa's going to go uh, get something, maybe for show and tell, or maybe, oh, is it cleaning lady day? Are the cleaning people there? Is the doorbell ringing? Or is it an Amazon delivery? I'm, I'm thinking, I'm going, uh, everybody guess. What do you think? Cleaning cleaning people are there or Amazon delivery? Oh, it's Mike the Cat. We haven't seen Mike the Cat in weeks. <laughs> it's been too nice outside. And the first, you know, rainy day, here he is. Here he is, back in. So what? how did you know? He, did he scratch at the door? Yes, he's scratching at my back door. You awesome. can see me. I love Mike so, the Cat. You know, he'll come in, he'll have a drink out of the toilet, and uh, he'll go back out again. Sounds like a good day to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nothing like a good drink out of the old oh, toilet. Oh, yeah. Why not? Why not? Good job, Mike. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. Well, are you going to go take a nap? Will Mike the cat nap with you on the couch or something? No, no. Mike will not be staying inside because, uh, you know, I know from my history with owning cats that as soon as you fall asleep, that's when they want to go out oh, or they scratch at your door or they poke at your face or things happen. Are you a bed napper or a couch napper? Bed. See, I don't bed. like the nap in the in the bed. I, I, that's like my nighttime sleep. I like the couch for the. Uh, for Too the many nap. people coming and going all the See, time in my house. Nobody here. Nobody here. Yeah, I think if there was nobody in my house or no chance of anybody coming in, the the couch might be an option. But I I do like a dark room. Mm. Get the masks. I have them all over the house. 
You do? Yeah, I have a, like uh, one station by uh, my couch upstairs. Got the couch over here. I have one here just in case there's an emergency nap. And then I have uh, them in the bedroom too. Wow. Everywhere, all over and, the place. And they don't bother you? Like wearing them? Yeah. No, I got, you know, I got the mask on, got my CPAP mask on, I got my pillow speaker, got my body pillow. I'm all good. Even for naps? No, not the sleep apnea machine because I don't want to like unhook it and bring it to the couch and stuff. <laughs> okay, well you have a good day. All and, right, you uh, too. Yeah, I enjoy uh, enjoy your uh, your hand swelling, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully that goes down even more tomorrow. Yeah, it's still a little swollen, but yes, yeah. better than yesterday. More better, more better. I had a nurse say uh, Benadryl cream would be uh, would be good for me. Would that not react with your medication at all? I guess not, because it's not okay. pills. Okay, good. So. Good. Okay, so we got that, and uh, that's it. Tomorrow on the program at 638, does our city smell? Do we live in a stinky city? Okay, and all I right. will tell you my experience the other day. Oh, you got a story. Okay. There's it's, one area that you could not pay me to live in. Wow. Maybe it's this very area that I read about. Okay, that's tomorrow morning along with the pay phrase, 1600 bucks. Sign up at am800cklw.com and have a great day. Bye, Mike the Cat.